Right, here we go. Right then, so I had, I, I bought, um, again, like uh, following Retro Sofa's uh, guide, um, there was two lengths, uh, size cables you could get on the media kit. But I think I'm going to opt for the really small one because I don't think you need. Um, I'll, I'll check it in a minute, but I don't think you need that much. You just need to basically make a connection between the card and that um, the actual 44 pin slot down on the ball itself. Now, one thing um, Casey made absolutely clear when um, on his tutorial was that <coughs> on the cable you'll notice there's um on the bottom of this cable there's a red red line now that has to go to the bottom of the Amiga bottom of the, as you as you look at the keyboard facing you it has to go to the bottom otherwise the card won't work so basically I'm going to try now and uh, marry these two up without bending any pins hopefully Lovely, that's gone in. Seems too easy, too good to be true to be honest, it's just slid in so nice and easy. Right, um, that's that done, so the cable's now attached to that, as you can see. Ooh la la. Right, now we get our compact flash, and no doubt you need Jeff Capes to get into this box to get it out. It looks like it's well packed. Aha! Uh -huh. There'd be a skizzer mark there, so I can cut that line with a pair of scissors and hopefully the bugger will let me in to retrieve my compact flash card. Right, I'll coax that card out. Yeah, -hee. there she blow. She's got a lovely shiny key. Ooh, ding ding shing. Ching 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 ching. Right, anyway. Enough of watching uh, Disney cars. Let's crack on with this. Right, so I've got my flash. Compact flash. And now I need to connect that to the adapter. And again, lovely. Right, there we go. So let's uh, see if I can get it on camera. It slides in like so, and oh, lovely! No missing at all. Now then, now to connect it to, now to connect it to the actual motherboard. Let's see. That's only to connect it to the forty-four pin. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my battery power pack was going across my legs, so excuse that, that's my camera's power pack. So now we are having the beautiful and you know it's for me that's more than enough cable to be honest. You don't want it flapping around, do you? And hopefully the keyboard may even keep that in place. So at this stage, I think we're looking pretty hunky dory, aren't we? Really? We need to um, connect the floppy back up. That's it. So floppy's got its own little RZ cable here. Him like that, cool, and, and it's just a case of uh, hooking up the uh, this one four or three, I think it's the four one, so that goes there, locks in. That is the floppy connected, so we're looking pretty good at this stage. Um, Now I'd like to connect the LEDs back up again because it would be nice to have those working, wouldn't it? 
can't go wrong connecting up the LEDs to be honest because if you look here, look, if you look at this, uh, you see there, you see that one white hole there, it's been blocked off. Look, on the pins here, you probably can't see it there, I mean I hope I'm going to zoom in on that for you, but that's a look. Where am I pointing to? I've got my softoscope here, have I? Uh, let's try and get it in the centre of my dozo and keep it on. Here, there's a, a gap. So when you've when you got your two free clusters together, there's a gap here. And then, so that was easy. It's, Idiot proof, even I can do it, so it must be idiot proof. Right, and so you can't go wrong really when you're putting that back on. Right, okay, so that's that's the LEDs now connected. There we go, so I can take off my um, antistatic wristband as so I'm not handling any more ICs. Now, I'll tell you what I'd like to do, I'd like to put that under there because that's a bit of a bugger, that is. Okay, because it needs to go through. Uh, the keyboard, the LED, you can go through the keyboard. That'd be a bit of a bloody bugger. Now you don't want them getting caught up in the underneath this uh, floppy either because if it does, then um, it can, you know, you can cut or chop the wires. Now, this is a trick, this is the bit we've got to make sure it's alright. You've got the ribbon cable here for the keyboard. Now you push that in there. Right, um, with my hook set, I will push the cable, hold it down, so it grips the keyboard, ribbon cable, so you push side to side until it's flush with the motherboard, and that should, yeah, grips the keyboard in place. What I intend to do now, I'll just finish off the uh, floppy last but I need to get the uh, the LEDs back on so um, I screwed the I screwed them in there so they won't get lost so I can just uh, bear with me a moment while I unscrew those buggers Right now that I've done that, I've feed the wires back underneath. That's so the lights done correctly, I hope. Show sure up the way they go in. Alright. Now all that remains is for me. That's it, put that back in. For me to uh, screw this baby back in. Now And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the A1200 rebuilt with a replacement motherboard and a new CF Compact Flash um, memory stick as a hard drive. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. The next video I'm going to make, I'll uh, actually, will actually test it and then install the software and the operating system, the workbench, and get it up and running. But I can't do that until I get my CD drive, so hopefully that'll be sometime next week. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and until next time.